Hello everyone, and today we're reading <laughs> Stories of Witches by Christopher Rossum. Chapter 1, The Lost Broomstick. This story begins with a witch called Bess and an invitation to a party. Bess loved parties. There was just one problem. Bess couldn't remember where she had put her broomstick. She looked everywhere. Boots, spare cauldron, hmm, no broomstick. But it was no good. The last broomstick was lost. At last, Bess had to give up. Now what could she do? She couldn't fly without her stick, and it was too far to walk. Then she had a great idea. My magic rope, she cried. I can turn someone into a horse and ride to the party. I just need to find someone. Bess hid behind a tree and waited. Soon, a man came along. His wife walked behind him, carrying all their heavy bags. One of these two would be perfect. When my leg gets better, dear, I'll help carry things again. Bess let the man pass. He's no good. He's limping, she said. Besides, his wife will be strong from carrying all those bags. Ha ha! She jumped out and threw her rope over the woman. At once, the woman turned into a horse. Bess climbed onto her back. I wish I brought a saddle. Now for the party. Giddy up, she cried. The man kept limping. At first, he didn't notice what had happened. But when he looked back, hey, where's my wife? All he could see were his bags and a horse galloping off in the distance. The man went to get his bags, but he couldn't find his wife. Nobody had seen her. Maybe she went that way. Maybe she ran away. Crossly, the man picked up the heavy bags. I'll just have to carry these myself, he said. A long way away, Bess had stopped. The horse was worn out, and so were her shoes. She's a fine horse, isn't she? At the next village, Bess took her to a blacksmith. With four new horseshoes, the horse was ready to go. Bing, 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 bing. Four new horseshoes. At the party, the other witches pointed to the horse. Look at Bess without her broomstick, they said and cackled with laughter. Look, it's Bess on a horse. Ha 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 ha. But Bess didn't mind. It was a wonderful party. The witches skipped around a cauldron singing silly songs. Toads, we love toads. Toads, we love, and lizards too. Mix them up and make a stew. Before casting spells on each other, just for fun. All too soon, the party was over. The other witches flew off on their broomsticks. Bess untied her horse and set out for home. Fly safely. Bess was nearly home when she met the man she had seen before. He was still carrying the heavy bags. You look tired. Hello, she said. Would you like to buy this horse? I don't need her anymore. What a good idea, said the man. Then I won't have to carry these bags. I lost my wife, you see. Bess said nothing. She just smiled. The man gave Bess a bag of gold and climbed onto the horse. With the horse to carry him, the man was home in no time. He took the horse to a stable. Welcome to your new home. What a fine beast you are, he said, patting her. He took off the rope. Uh-oh, what will happen? And jumped back with surprise. The horse had turned into his wife, just like that. But, 
But how? She was pleased to see that being a horse hadn't changed her too much, but there was one difference. Which meant she couldn't carry the bags anymore. From then on, every time they went shopping, her husband had to do it. This is fun. This is hard work. He kept asking her to turn back into a horse, just to show him the secret. She never did. Okay. And that's the story of The Lost Broomstick. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.